Hey everybody, welcome back, David Dion and the lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with another weekly roundup, taking a look at some of what's hitting the adult collector's action figure market here very shortly. Uh, quite a bit, of course, because it's STCC yeah. and Funko uh, back on full tilt again because they've <laughs> added. I've already. I'm not gonna be redundant and show some stuff that was already leaked, but I'll show the stuff that they put up this week for postings. Mm -hmm and you know leave the rest of it out and i don't know if they're done even but they're back on full tilt i thought they got the sdc is this weekend or is it next yeah they've gotten away from that a little bit though and they started backing up but now they're they're plowing it out again um announcements middle georgia comic convention july 15th that is saturday that it's is tomorrow. tomorrow yes and we are going to try to attend that so if you happen to be out there say hello and that of course is in macon georgia mm -hmm. And the very next day, the Atlanta Record and CD Show mm -hmm. in the IMAO Union Hall in Marietta also. And that's fun. Which, yeah, that, uh, that turned out to be pretty cool. And we'll film both of these, so if you can't make it, yeah. you can fake it. <laughs> uh, Retroville, next retro toy swap in Powder Springs is going to be August 5th, Saturday, August 5th. And we'll have a table again. And then... The very next day, oh, Atlanta Comic Convention. Back to back. Yes, at, in Atlanta at the Marriott Century, Century Center. Mm -hmm. That's always good. Yeah, that's a that's a very popular I show. I wish they get their parking figured out, though. Yeah, I know. The parking's kind of a pain in the butt. Farley Con in Eastridge, Tennessee, which we are recommending, but we're <clears> not going to be able to attend. Yeah, we went last year, and it was a very good show. Yeah, that's August 12th and 13th. Wow, it's just back-to-back -back shows. I know. Because we will be at the Joe Lanta August 11th to the 13th, which will be in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And we will be on panel there Saturday at 1. So if you happen to want to see us prattling on in person <laughs> then you can catch us saturday at one at joe lanta for sure and then all the way out into december of course the conyers toy and comic show small show but surprisingly good yeah we were there last year and yeah, yeah we would recommend checking that out and now we can go ahead and dive into some of what's being offered. We'll start off with Executive Replicas, more of their 12th scale comic book females, and that's Chaotica. Chaotica. They don't show Chaotica's, Chaotica's accessories, just those uh, things on her hands. Uh, Chaotica is $70. Oh, that's not bad for yeah. a 12th scale. Yeah. Well, it, it, to me, it looks more like a Legends figure, though. Yeah. But then they have La Murta. La Murta. They do show all of her accessories. She is also $70. I like the way you get, they get her hair blowing in the wind there. Yeah. That's <laughs> an interesting look. And then one more for you. It's Lady Satanus. And no, they don't show all of her accessories. So we're back to that again. Mm. 28 points of articula uh, articulation, removable cape, golden trident. Two open hands, two grip hands. At least it tells you what's there. Yeah. So not you show said you. these are comic book characters? Yeah, they're comic characters. Oh, okay. You, they're not Marvel or DC or any mainstream. Yeah, they're but, like you know, indie. Yeah. Mm. And we'll just jump into Funko and we'll knock it out. There's a lot there. No, that is not Prince. Mm, that yeah. is actually... Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. So, Jimi Hendrix, and like I said, there's going to be a lot of this. Uh -oh. Funcoville and they're at San Diego Comic Con. You see the sticker there for the Comic Con. Not everything is, but most of it is. They're, um, I don't even remember who that is. That's the question on the right, but I don't remember who's on the left there from, mm -hmm. from, uh, the from DC. Yeah. I used to read the question. It was originally a Charlton character. I think I remember that character yeah. from a recent um, <clears throat> animated movie. Okay. That character was on there. Talia Al Ghul. Mm -hmm. Bugs Bunny dressed as Fred <laughs> Flintstone. So, does Disney own Hanna Barbera now? Is that the idea? Oh, boy. Yeah. Let's ruin that, too. What uh, Disney got to do with Hanna Barbera? Because the, that is Bugs as Fred Flintstone. 
which means that they would have to cross licenses between Warner Brothers and Hanna-Barbera. So I'm asking, does Warner Brothers own Hanna-Barbera now? You said Disney. Oh, all yeah. right. Well, I meant Warner Brothers. Okay. I don't know why I said Disney. Mm -hmm. uh, Frodo with the One Ring. Biddy Pops mm -mm. with your mystery. I may have already shown that one. Mm -hmm. The Dude, another one from The Big Lebowski. Inuyasha. I thought he was missing a hand. Oh, that's a man? Yes. Mm. Scooby Doo in an astronaut suit. Reptar from Rugrats as a soda. Daniel LaRusso. Cobra Kai. Yeah, Cobra Kai. He still looked like a kid. Well, this, yeah, it says Cobra Kai, but that looks, that doesn't look like modern yeah. Danny LaRusso. No, it looks like, now that. Johnny Lawrence. Oh, no, that kind of looked like the. Kiddish, too. Yeah, yeah. from Karate Kid. Yeah, except for the artwork on the can. Yeah. You could argue might be a more modern one. Uh, who is that? Uh, Gaia from Captain Planet. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Is, oh, that's a pop. Yes. So they're going to be doing Captain Planet now? Yeah. Oh no. Regular and diamond edition, but limited to 2,000 pieces, so forget that one. Because you uh, know I'm collecting Captain Planet. Tweety Bird, looking very 80s. Remember when they used to do that in the 80s? And they yeah. had like gold chains on them and stuff. Mm-hmm. The... Fair, uh, fairy, uh, or fairly odd parents three pack. Who is that? A bug's Heimlich, life. Heimlich from A Bug's oh. Life. His little tiny wings. Jessica Rabbit, regular and chase. Uh, oh, Wicket. Hanging in there, folks. Somebody from Stranger Things, still haven't seen that show. Little Mermaid, the new one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now they're doing um, Snow White. <laughs> Short round, the person that everybody wanted in the new movie. We'll just leave that right there. N. Savage? That's 21. Oh, that looks like an N. I don't know who that is. Me neither, but he's a rapper, I think. I've seen okay. the name before. All right. I think that's a rapper. Okay. Oh, the uh, Loteria, I did show this, mm -hmm. but they've added a figure. So the Ooh. girl the girl on the boat is new. Oh, okay. So showing it again. Yeah. Funkoville Freddy exclusives. They got a dog now. Blockbuster, mm -hmm. it says. A soda? That's Freddy Funko. Yes, of course. Their mascot. Oh boy, now comic, you might see it. Comic hero version, and that's the new soda type, but in the box it looks like a VHS cassette. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, that's something new they're trying. Yeah. More biddies. More of Freddy Funko. Freddy. Yeah, I, w I want to know how much those cost. Those biddies? Yeah, I bet you they're expensive. Probably. Mother of demons from Marvel. Mm -hmm. That's a character you don't hear of. No. Uh, Ghost Rider. A, an incarnation of Ghost Rider. Mm -hmm. The movie version of um, oh god, what is his name? That brain thing? Yeah. That, that, that looked Mod ridiculous. Modoc. Modoc, yeah. I still can't believe they actually, because when I saw it, I thought it was somebody doing, just playing, you know how they do, play games. Uh-huh. And then they said that was actually in the movie. Yeah, like, it was. Oh, my gosh. Steelbox, or, or uh, 25th anniversary version of the Spider-Man pop. I think I showed this before. Mm. Because they're doing this now, bringing them out of the vault. Yeah. Love and Thunder. Captain Marvel. Or, From the new movie? Yeah. Coming up? I don't know if there's another one coming out. I don't but even, it didn't come out yet. Didn't it? The, with the three girls? I don't know if it came out or not. I, I just, it's hard to tell anymore. I don't know. The way they show the, the video and talk about it, you don't know nothing. Hunter X? I don't know what's up with that hair. Mm -mm. You gotta watch it. He's wearing Carl Weathers' uh, running outfit from Rocky Two. 
Mm. Or was no, that was three, wasn't it? Rocky three. Hunter X, another character. I don't know who that is because I'm not familiar with the show. Hey. Tony the Tiger. Yeah, regular and flocked. Told you there's a lot. Mm. We're all we're almost done though, and we'll get on to other action figures. Tony Soda. The surfboard, it almost looks like he's wearing a cap. Yeah. Darth in Vader the big in soda. the big uh, three liter. They don't make three liters anymore. And that is Johnny Knoxville. Who's that? From Jackass. No, it says WWF on the top there. Because they tied they tied them into uh, some events. Oh, really? From the WWE, rather. Yeah. Yeah, WW now. It was badly done. I saw some of it. It was really botched with their props. Check oh, this out. Man Thing. Man Thing. And uh, who is that supposed to be on the right? I have it looks like that. a female Martian Manhunter. I'm not Martian sure who Manhunter that is. is a maybe, man. Yeah, I know. Maybe somebody can tell us who that is on the right. But yeah, Come Man on, Thing. HR Puff and stuff. That's yeah. Cute. With Magic Flute. Aww. Don't you have some of those, those Sid and Marty Crofts? Yes, Funkos? I have. I, no, I don't have Funkos of any of those. I've got the. Um, I've got the Toy Island. Is it Toy Island figures? But you got something like that from Funko, didn't you? No. Oh. Okay. Stranger Things. More of that. Yeah. The Gold Edition. Well, they got to keep it alive, because yes. otherwise they'll lose the license. Yeah. Doctor Who. I don't know who that is from Doctor Who, because that's past my era of watching. Mm-hmm. Ultraman. Toy Tokyo, so you won't get that. Yeah. <laughs> it says San Diego 2099. 2019. Dark Crystal. Big Bang Theory. That's not big. Oh, yeah. that's them dressed up in outfits. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Well. I don't know about... Hey, Duran Duran. <laughs> wow. 80s Duran Duran. Is that a five pack? I would assume so. It says Wild Boys. Oh, it must be a tie into that video. Wild or Boys. Or that was the name of the album. Because you know they do the... With the little album cover yeah. and them standing there. That's 10 of 12. Album. 10 of 12 for Falcon. Uh-huh. Almost done. You said that 20 minutes ago. Yeah, well... My Hero Academia, five of six. I know, I, I, you expect it to be done and then it's not. Oh, it is! Yay! Yay! Now we can talk about something else. We can talk about Hasbro, and we, then after this, hopefully you won't be hearing anything from Funko for weeks. Yeah, sure. But there is Chuckles, SDCC exclusive, I believe, mm -hmm. in the Chuckles box. I never cared for his character from, uh, from Sunbow. I don't like the way they wrote the new characters in at all. But since it's an exclusive, you'll never get it. You don't know that. <laughs> Crimson Alley Viper. And these are still in non-window boxes. Even yeah. though Hasbro said they're going to get away from that, but they haven't yet. Well, these are stuff that's probably already been made, so they just yeah. got to put it out. Jody Craig. Who is that? I do not know. She's from G.I. Joe? Apparently. She doesn't lace up her shoes either. I don't know who Jody Craig is. Didn't they have no black woman in G.I. Joe? I don't know. Not jo cartoon? Jody Craig. Maybe she from one of the movies. You know they had a bunch of movies. Maybe. Uh, Mole Rat. Whoever that is. I don't know who that is either. This must be from the movie. Or a new <laughs> show that's coming out. Who knows? Yeah. And this is the Strike team crimson strike team. is that the twins yeah that's the twins i don't know how they're the crimson strike team when all three of them are command and who's that the baroness yes it looks like she those looks bad. it looks like the anniversary style bodies those faces on them look bad the bodies those bodies weren't popular it's a bad mole and we'll bump into Mondo. Okay. Everything I'm going to show you from Mondo, it's already gone, as far as I know. <laughs> it's already sold out. It sold out in like two minutes on the 10th. But I'll show it to you. 
Yeah. And because they were all limited again, mm -hmm. but a lot of drops. And it's like, come on, Mondo. Adam, Prince Adam, of course. Boy, that's some furry loincloth. Yeah, he was 250 bucks, $250 for Adam, limited edition of 2,000 units. Why he got a pink sword? Well, because the Mattel, it's a, it's a nod to the old Mattel, because okay. the Mattel, Adam had a pink sword. Oh, okay. Because it's, uh, that was their idea of it powering up or something, I don't know. Oh. There's the Mondo He-Man version 2 of the anniversary version, which is is available because they're uh, re-releasing it through the usual channels like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, whatever. Yeah. 225 for him, he's not limited. Mm -hmm. I don't think. The Mondo Mutations, there is Magneto. Magneto limited to 500. Mm. So Two, that's sold out. 225, yeah, he's gone. Man I bat, that. bat, man bat, limited to one thousand. Mm. It's probably sold out. Two hundred and fifty-five. Yeah, I think it's gone. I think everything they had that was limited is toast. Yeah. And animated series Wolverine. Oh, they got a thing on the back of his hand so you can stick the knives in. Yeah. So so that it could look like the um the plugs when they pop up mm. even though i believe it's supposed to come from between his fingers but i don't know they do it different way they've done it different ways but this is the um animated series version limited to 1500 215 dollars so does the jacket come off and then you plug in the arms to make it look like... I think it's a vinyl piece and if you pull his arms out, oh, you can, take you the can jacket peel part it off. off. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then it can look like he got on my yeah, jacket. Yeah, it's your shirt. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, what's that? And then we're going to jump to NECA. Oh, this is NECA. Yeah, NECA, the last Ronin. Last Ronin. This is going to run you 43 And then we've got Karai. I don't know who Karai is. Is that from Ninja Turtles? Yes. Mm. It, well, looks, it, last it looks Ronin. like Electra, but it's not Electra. It's tied in with Last Ronin. Yeah. It looks like April O'Neil from the movie because you know they had that oh, yeah. girl uh, play April O'Neil. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> She's also 43. Mm -hmm. And then Super 7, which Yay. has almost as much stuff as Funko. But <laughs> Super 7 is deep into SDCC now for suddenly. But there's your MP. That looks good. Yeah. The card. <clears throat> yeah, the card always looks good. Just but so there's your MP. You gotta get a lot so you can army build it. Yeah, I guess. Like 50 of them. Mm -hmm. At 20 bucks a piece or however what much it is. What are those? Trading cards? Trading cards. They're doing uh, wax packs. Hmm. So there's your trading cards. That was a thing. Yeah, that was a that was huge. It's faded away, but you know, it's, it, 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 it is it is nostalgic. I like the box it comes in. Yeah. The display box. There is your Python Patrol Trooper. The City of the Dead Ancient Warrior Pack, and that's from what? Pyramid of Darkness? Mm -hmm. the, one of their five-parters? Mm -hmm. So, City of the Dead Warrior Pack. The Snake Armor with Cobra, Cobra Trooper Pilot inside. The pilot it doesn't move. There's no articulation to the pilot. Oh, he doesn't come he out? He doesn't come out. He's oh. just kind of stuck there. So, basically, you've got a snake that you can pull the front off of, and the pilot's in there. Mm. Godzilla. And this is in the 7 inch Ultimates size range. Mm -hmm. And it comes with a little guy you can chew on. You know what would have been a, a, a good nod is if it made it look like, oh what's his name from Super 7? The uh, the guy who runs Super 7? Ryan Flynn. Ryan Flynn. Yeah, they should have made him look like Ryan Flynn. I couldn't think of his name. No, that would not be cool. That yeah, would have been cool. Um, Roger Rabbit. Who framed Roger Rabbit? We're still on Super 7? Yes. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, yeah. It says it on the box. Huh? Yeah. For ages 14 and up. Okay. 
Meow the Jewels. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> but they're reaction figures. Mm, they look like rappers. They could be. Someone will tell us. Goodbye Megatron. I like that one. Uh-huh. The Super Cyborg series. Mm -hmm. X-ray action figure, which means his chest comes off. Power Rangers in the classic triangle boxes, but these are reaction, so they're smaller than the tr the original ones from the 90s. Oh, okay. And one of their Zords as a reaction. See, I told you they had a lot. I see. Turtles versus Shredder, Chef Boy RD. And Chef, it's a nod because Chef Boy RD had a mail away version shredder mm -hmm. that was in that color scheme. And it came in a can like no, that? No, it did not. Oh. The, you, you had to peel the label off of the can and mail it in. Oh, like how it used to be. Yeah. That's a cool idea. Yeah, it's you a, put it's it a, in it's a can. It's a neat concept. Mm -hmm. for, the, for those of us who are old enough to remember, Wing Kong, it's a Sofubi. Japanese kaiju nod. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, this. Oh my god. Richard Scarry's, who I'm a big fan of Richard Scarry. It's yeah. a, one of those forgotten franchises. It's one of those things that's kind of faded away, but they remembered it. And that is Huckle, of course. Huckle Cat. It's a vinyl figure. Um, mixed media clothing, I believe. And he is 16 inches. He's like um, they're peanuts. Yeah, the you know, big the, peanuts they're big figures. ones. They're not the ultimate size. Which means this is going to be in the three hundred range. Ooh. Yeah, because because I, I saw it, I'm like, oh, Richard Scarry. Yeah. You know, I used to love that stuff when I was a kid. And we got a bunch of their books. Yeah, we do. They're fun. And now and then it's like two ninety five. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but that's all. That's all she wrote. That's more than enough. Yeah. Funko padded out a lot of it. Yeah. Anything there that caught your eye that you're just like, oh, wow, you know, maybe I'd like to get that. I actually saw a couple of things oh, yeah. in the Funkos. I know. Uh oh I actually saw a few. What did you see? Um, I like the Tony the Tiger. Okay. I like the Gaia because I am collecting um, Captain Planet. Sure. I like the Tweety Bird uh, and the um, Bugs Bunny because okay. I have those already. Um, so I like I like that stuff. And, um, you know, it was a couple of other things. Um, I like the man bat, but mm -hmm. I didn't get it. I really forgot about uh, it. I don't. I don't know if I would have went for it, but that's one of my favorite characters from. From what um, I understand, it kind of breezed through because all of, all of those were limited except yeah. for the second version He Man. Yeah, and I have some of the um, the Mondo Batman animated series yeah. figures, and you know, um, man bat and Bane. Are some of my favorite villains from Batman the Animated Series. Yeah. So I would have liked that. I, I saw it and then I honestly forgot about it. Um, so I, sure. I, I never even tried. And aftermarket Mondo music gets kind of crazy. So. It can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's it. I do like that Richard Scarry, but not for that price. Yeah. that's That was my impression too. Mm -hmm. Is like the, the Richard Scarry really caught my eye, but it's, you know. The three hundred dollar range, I can't do it. Same as with the peanuts. Yeah. Because I'd love to have some of those peanuts, but I'm just like, oh, I can't. I just can't do it. Their Godzilla, I, I got a kick out of mm -hmm. the classic looking Godzilla in a, a smaller scale. Yeah, and that but, one might be obtainable mm -hmm. because, you know, it's not like big. Mm -hmm. I like that they're trying to bring back that wax pack because mm -hmm. I remember those those pack of trading cards. So I hope that kind of takes off. Because you saw that from the 50s all the way through to the early 90s. Mm -hmm. and then, you that know, was very popular. It was big, yeah. I don't know if people still collect them. I'm sure you can go on Am Oh, I'm sure uh, you eBay can find stuff, yeah. And find them. I don't know how collectible they are. Yeah. But I remember them as a kid. Because they were a big deal. They were in all the grocery stores and Walmarts and stuff. 
And then there's the uh, Prince Adam, of course, which of course I do like the Mondo Masters. Mm -hmm. I'm just not getting them anymore because of all the problems I've had. Yeah. But hey, that's more than enough. That was a lot. <laughs> hey guys, did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got anything out of that. Share it, share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. You know how it goes. Yeah. And if that's it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.